Sniping is an amazing tool, especially in game modes like survival where every life counts or Trials of Osiris if that ever comes back to Destiny. Personally, I'm going to be sniping a bunch in case it comes back next season, but even if it doesn't, it's a great tool to have, and there is many snipers in the game that are top-tier DPS weapons. Today, I want to cover that. Which weapons, which snipers are the best for PvE, and which ones, in my opinion, are the best for PvP? So, let's jump right on into it. Hey everyone, Mtashed here, and today I want to go over some of my favorite snipers in Destiny. Now I'm going to talk about a couple PvE ones very quickly at the beginning of the video, but near the end of the video we're going to talk about the PvP ones. Now those ones are some preference ones, and I want to talk about some of the strengths and weaknesses. For PvE, you just want shit that hits hard, it's got good perks, uh, there's multiple that you can use, but there's a couple that stand out, so I'm going to go over those very quickly. Number one is... Izanagi's Burden. I just talked about this in another video, but Izanagi's Burden is nuts. It is a special ammo using top tier DPS weapon. This thing is incredible. It is probably going to be the best DPS weapon in the game because with the new artifact, there's going to be an enhanced sniper reloader. That just makes this gun even better than it already is. It's almost a no-brainer in pretty much every PvE situation, and I can't recommend this enough. It's to the point at this point where uh, you you pretty much should or have to have this in your loadout to be optimal. It's that good. And with the, the perks, it's just insane. So get Izanagi's Burden, keep it in your inventory at pretty much all times, and enjoy the DPS. Now another one I wanted to talk about, as I said in my other video, Soul Survivor. When you get the firing line triple tap combo, as well as a pended mag and the backup mag, you're able to fire round after round after round without needing to reload. And with the enhanced sniper loader, you're going to get that benefit of reloading quicker to get back to doing DPS. Whisper of the Worm, another top tier choice for PvE. It does great damage, but it does require heavy ammo. If I had the choice between Izanagi's and this one, I would go with Izanagi's every time, but if you don't have it, this is a good backup. Now, there may be some other snipers that you're able to take advantage of this, but as I said before, you should always pretty much be using Izanagi's. Always. And so, these are very niche. In a situation where maybe uh, you want to keep this sniper and not use Izanagi's. But for the most part, just use it. <laughs> but these options are here. Now, I want to click on the Soul Survivor really quickly because this is going to be one of the first ones I talk about for PvP. Now, the Soul Survivor actually has a pretty good scope. And uh, if you get something like Snapshot Outlaw or Snapshot whatever, whatever, I don't care what it is. But with Snapshot, this becomes a very nice little gun. Handling on it isn't amazing, but the range is pretty solid, reload speed is very quick. This is a good base starter sniper. It's a 90 RPM, but I don't like this one as much as the next one. Now the Beloved, the reason I like this sniper better is the base stats overall are better in a lot of cases, especially because you can get random rolls. Now this thing has quick draw, snapshot, it's got some extra range here, some extra handling. There's multiple rolls you can get on this, but this is pretty damn easily accessible through the Menagerie. If you have a gun that has the potential to be very good, as well as an easy way to farm it, this is an obvious choice if you're looking for a 90 RPM sniper. These are able to kill people uh, in their super in most cases with a headshot, and that's going to give this some definite brownie points over other options, but I'll talk about the sniper slang a little bit more later on. Now, if you're looking for a beautiful sniper, high damage, you know, one banging supers, one banging people with overshields, the Revoker is a very obvious choice. It's a great sniper with some awesome aim assist, good range, no damage fall off because of that distance, and it even has some unique perks that make it a great beginner sniper. Now, you need to snipe quite a bit to unlock it, but let's say you haven't played in a while, let's say you're rusty, the Revoker is a pretty safe pick. With Reversal of Fortune, when you miss a shot, it will actually go back into your inventory. You miss a shot, you wait a couple seconds, you get that shot back. Meaning that even if you're not using Sniper Scavengers and missing a few shots, you'll always be able to have that extra bullet for the next player that decides to pop their little head out. 
It's also got snapshot and some other great stats, giving it pretty much maxed out range, and with the low RPM, the damage on it is fantastic. If you hit someone with the body shot, you can clean them up with almost any weapon in the game very easily, and the Revoker is a top choice in PvP. Now, if you like the idea of a heavy-hitting, you know, high-impact sniper like the Revoker, but you don't have it just yet, maybe this hidden gem is in your inventory somewhere. This is the Silicon Neroma, and this is a Nightfall drop from the Pyramidian Strike, or the Pyramidian Strike. Now, if you get a good roll with snapshots and some decent stats, the overall stats on this weapon are pretty good. It's not anything amazing, but this could be a good option for you if you like the idea of absolutely nuking people with headshots. I like the Silicon Neroma. I've only used it a, a little bit. I just got it recently, but if you have one sitting around, this might be a good option for you. All right, now I want to talk about 140 RPM snipers. These snipers, in some people's eyes, are known as spammy. You can shoot people in the body twice with it, which is a very effective way of killing people. It's almost too easy in many people's eyes. But the other thing too is because it shoots so fast, if you're sniping against someone else and they miss, you might be able to pull the trigger before them. Or if someone flinches you, you have the opportunity to course correct and land the headshot, even though they're laying into you, and hopefully you can get that kill. Now, Twilight Oath was one of the first guns to pop out and be one of those 140s that people were really hunting for. The issue is if you want snapshot on this weapon, you actually have to get the curated bungee roll. Now, for some people, you get it on the first try. For me, it took quite a while to get this roll, but when I finally did, it was an awesome sniper to use. But I'm going to recommend not really hunting for this one, but if you have one in your inventory, it can be a good option. The reason I say don't hunt for this one is I think that it's much easier to hunt for a couple other ones than this one is because it's a little bit RNG, there's no guaranteed way to get it. Now, one that is slightly easier to get, but again, not a guaranteed thing, is the Supremacy. This is from one of the raids, the Last Wish raid, and if you don't have a raid team, this is going to be another one of those guns that can be frustrating to farm for. You need to go and unlock some of the chests. I believe you can get it from any of the encounters as well. But the Supremacy is a 140 RPM with actually better stats than the Twilight Oath. As long as you have a pretty solid roll, you can jack up the range, you can get some really good handling. And with Snapshot, this gun is fantastic. The scope on it is pretty damn good. It's not quite as low as the Twilight Oath, which is the lowest zoom, but it is still a fantastic weapon. I personally use this much more than the Twilight Oath, even though it's in the kinetic slot where a lot of my other favorite weapons are. If I'm using a 140, for a long time this was the one I used, but now that has been replaced with, in my opinion, the best overall sniper in the game, Apostate. Now, when I say the best overall sniper in the game, that is if you are hitting headshots. If you are an absolute aim god, I personally think this is the best in the game. It shoots fast, you can take out multiple targets back to back if you catch them off guard, and at 140 RPM and with the overall base stats, this thing is good in many situations. The only issue is it can't take out supers in one shot like the 90 and 72 RPM weapons. For some people, that is a no-go. But for me, I tend to run away from a lot of people using supers because they're very frustrating to hit. In Destiny 1, a lot of the supers were really easy to kill, they were really easy to take out, but I find in Destiny, they're very fast. Many of them have mobility uh, where they can spam shoulder charge or spinning attacks with the middle tree sunbreaker. The dawn blade was really fast and landing that headshot was actually pretty risky because typically if you miss, you die. The apostate is very easy to farm. You can get it from the activity in Soros Harbor when it's the sniper day. And if you get a good roll on this, this will be one of the best, crispiest, dirtiest, highest aim assist snipers on the market. I'm in love with the Apostate, I think that this thing is amazing, and you should definitely hunt for one if you want to be sniping in PvP.
Now, there's other snipers in the game. This Fake Cries Fool has pretty much the exact same role as my Apostate. He's even got a low zoom scope, but I find that there are some snipers with lower base stats or lower aim assist values or even just more zoom on their short to mid-range scope options. These are the ones that I personally like to use, but maybe there's a hidden gem I didn't think about. If you guys have a top tier sniper that you'd like to recommend, leave it in the comments below. But that's pretty much it from me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.